Well, welcome to the Friday Bubble. We're here again today, and we're down in the south. We're in the Cote de Bar at um, Domaine de la Borderie, and um, we've got a little rosé. We haven't done rosé yet, so I'm quite excited to taste this. Essie, you introduced me to the wines of La Borderie. They started, um, they, they used to grow the grapes and sell them. Um, and in 2014, I think it was, they started making their own champagne. Yeah, and, um, absolutely. I mean, there's, I'd say that the Côte de Bar is really the most uh, sort of dynamic part of Champagne uh, at the moment, like lots of uh, growers uh, mushrooming uh, from there, uh, with a little bit different approaches, like in the Côte de Bar, we're quite close to Burgundy, uh, rather than Champagne and, uh, and Simon Norman, the, the proprietor here. Uh, he also studied in, in Burgundy and got a lot of this sort of more varietal um, influence, uh, single vineyard, um, you name it. Right. So that's what they specialize in. Now this got a beautiful colour. Um, so uh, this is made by adding red wine or? No, no, no. This is uh, a Rosé de Maceration. Okay. Uh, so we, uh, we um, macerate uh, the grapes. I think around uh, three days usually okay. um, for for this um, for this color at uh, at La Borderie. So beautiful, a bit salmon salmon uh, toned color. Lovely color. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so single vineyard actually the vineyard being called Douce Folly, which translates roughly like something like a sweet madness or gentle madness, which is actually yeah. quite a fun name for for I'm, a rosé. I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> So, so all 2015. Um, now again, we've got this big disparity because 2015 in the Cote de Bar versus the North, both quite hot years. Yeah, but... yeah, exactly. But I've, uh, I've, um, I have some issues often with the vintage in the aromatic purity. Right. Uh, lots of uh, like vegetal um, characters, but definitely we're not having any in this one. Mm. Yeah, this is just full on Pinot, isn't it? I mean, this is. Um... There's some beautiful. Yeah. like spicy strawberry yeah um, spicy strawberry lots of lovely ripe um cherry now i can't remember whether whether there's a bit of this is is fermented in barrel or not um do you remember essie i can't remember I uh, just... but he often uses uh, very you know um, minor touches uh, right. with most of the wines you can't actually can't sense the oak uh, it's just a, a compliment this has a toasty thing again you yeah. know that sort yeah, beautiful of beautiful um, toast beautiful toast and he definitely makes his wines in that um, style where they're more reductive. Um, yeah. So they're, 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 you always sort of talk, use that word purity. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they uh, definitely, um, when, when Simon and, and uh, his sister Marie started to make the wines, they immediately built an amazing, you mm -hmm. know, um, gravity flown uh, winery. Right. The, I always like that the wines are technically so perfectly made. Right. They're super clean and with, you know, giving the, the center stage to the fruit. There's cherry. Um, oh, yeah. I've, I've not picked that up before. It's really zingy. It's not red cherry. It's that sort of, um, well, dark. Mm. It's really dark cherry. Um, and there's almost like a little lovely bitter mm. sort of element to it. Yeah. And there's that, uh, that element of bitterness continues on the palate. Mm -hmm. I think of that sort of uh, little phenolic touch of a warm year right. we definitely have there, which, uh, which adds on, I think, the vinous qualities of the wine and, and, and gastronomic qualities as well. Now, amazingly, I could ask a question. Do you know what the dosage is? I cannot remember, but it's, it's low, they are. It is low, so yeah. it's actually two grams. The reason I was sort of yeah. being a bit naughty asking, yeah. it, 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 I don't think you can perceive that it's that low. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can uh, because of the phenolics coming out okay. more with the with the very long dosage. Because it just seems to be such richness of fruit, and so the mm. the dosage sits there, you know. Richness of very very sweet fruit. Yeah. So. Fruit here. Mm, delicious. Well, we know what we're having um, for dinner tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Essie. Thank you. And cheers, everybody.